I think must put things right at Burnley tomorrow. Now look certain to drop out of the league altogether. The calm before the storm. Colchester United's Layer Road ground this morning. After 40 years of league football, Layer Road looks a little forlorn these days. There have been good times and bad, but now Colchester are bottom of the fourth division and looks certain to drop out of the football league. Manager Mick Mills arrived at Colchester just after Christmas. The club were in trouble then. They'd only won once in the league and were bottom of the table with just 13 points. United's form has improved under the former Ipswich and England fullback, but so has the form of their rivals, and it now seems unlikely that Mills will stay at the club should they be relegated. The real sadness about it is that we can attract a large number of supporters. There's a lot of people in Colchester that, that want to watch league football, and if that's taken away from them, that's, that's the biggest loss, I think, and that's the, the saddest part of the whole situation. Hey, communication, Billy, isn't it? Smudger, talk to him. Mike Walker, now the reserve team coach at Norwich City, spent 17 years at Colchester, two of them as manager. But in November 1987, he was sacked by the United chairman, Jonathan Crisp. It was a puzzling decision because Colchester at the time was second in the table, having won five games in a row. Yes, I mean, it was a, it was a bit of a shock to, to myself and, and one or two other people, I believe. But... Um, I don't know, it's difficult. I mean, obviously decisions were made to, to change the system, maybe the playing side, and uh, subsequently it hasn't worked out. And uh, as a result, you know, they, uh, they look like going out of the league. My belief was always to, um, to try and play a little bit of constructive football. Um, I know it's difficult in the fourth division, but we were successful for a year and a half. Uh, we got to the, um, the playoffs in the first year, and we were top of the league the second year. Um, but the chairman, to be fair, was the one that, that thought otherwise. And um, he felt that maybe they should be a bit more kicking and, uh, well, I wouldn't say kicking, perhaps that's not right, but a bit more competitive, shall we say, um, and wanted to change it. And uh, obviously that's what happened. At the Colchester Evening Gazette, Neil Thomas has been reporting on the trials and tribulations of Colchester United for five years. Like many football fans in the Essex town, Neil has been watching United's recent decline with an increasing sense of disbelief. I think people have been so used to seeing Colchester on their pools coupon, in their Sunday papers, on Look East, on the Saturday night as the results come out. They've seen the reports. Colchester has always been there, or well, for 40 years they've been there. And I think that's suddenly starting to hit home, the fact that the conference is only Division 5, but appears to be a sort of a precipice between the 4th Division and the conference, and somehow that they think Colchester aren't going to come back from that. All I want is for my players to go out and do as much as they can to, to gain the three points and to keep the season alive. And if they can't, then to do, to do their utmost and, 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 and go out in a respectable fashion. Go out, if you like, with, with as near as possible you know, a high number of points that people will say, well, you gave, gave it your best shot and it was an exceptional year and unfortunately you finished bottom and, and, and you've had to uh, go down. I just want them to go out there and play for a bit of pride and also that one remaining chance that we've got. And of course we wish them well tonight against Doncaster. Now the good spring weather over...